Thank you so much for joining me for another Women Crush Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about Ina Rae Hutton, a singer and dancer from Chicago. Ina Rae Hutton, whose birth name was Odessa Cohen, started entertaining at a very early age. She actually performed in stage reviews at the age of eight in 1924. She was biracial and ended up growing up in a black neighborhood in the south side of Chicago. Ina's mother, Marvel Ray, was a local pianist and Ina ended up doing tap and stage performance dancing with the instructor Hazel Thompson Davis. Ina was a very bright child and was considered so advanced that by the age of 13, she ended up skipping eighth grade and going straight into high school. Fact number two, by the time she was 18, she was a seasoned performer. She was performing on Broadway and then ended up joining the acclaimed Ziegfeld Follies. Fans of her said that she danced like a combination of Mata Hari and Betty Boop's big sister. Fact number three, in 1934, she ended up founding an all-female jazz orchestra, the Melodiers, with the help of jazz impresario Irving Mills and vaudeville agent Alex Hyde. With the formation of the band, Ina decided to change her name from Odessa Cohen to Ina Ray Hutton in order to capitalize on the fame of Barbara Hutton, who was the Woolworths heiress and ended up having seven husbands throughout her life, including Cary Grant. Fun fact, Ina actually ended up having six husbands, so she came just one short of Barbara Hutton's famous amount of husbands. The band was famous from the start, ended up touring for five years almost completely nonstop, except for taking a few short breaks in order to do the Paramount short films, Feminine Rhythms, Truckin', and Swing Hutton Swing. The Melodiers were very important in paving the way for all-female bands, and all-female bands became more and more popular after this time, especially because so many men headed into the military in the 1940s. Fact number four. Ina Ray really detested the fact that the band was known as a novelty, so she ended up dyeing her very famous blonde hair to brunette and hiring a male band to back her up. By the 1950s, she ended up starring in her own variety show, The Ina Ray Hutton Show, which was broadcast on KTLA, and she decided at this point to bring back the all-female band, which ended up leading her to win an Emmy. Her final recorded performance was in 1975 in the film Brother Can You Spare a Dime, and fact number five, Ina passed away in 1984, and unfortunately her career wasn't really known until now. This was probably because she did very few interviews and did not record many albums during her life. Regardless of this, she was a very incredible woman, particularly because of the fact that she blazed the way for so many female bands that followed her. Thank you so much for joining me for another Women Crush Wednesday. At this point, her story is fairly undiscovered, so I recommend that you go onto YouTube, type in her name, Ina Ray Hutton, and watch some of her incredible performances. And I will see you right here next week for another Women Crush Wednesday. Mm -hmm.